Diablo 4 Season 5 is literally right around the corner. And actually, when I post this video, it's probably going to be hours away. Now, I'm not a proponent of speed farming or speed leveling. If anyone's watched my content or watched me play video games, I'm pretty average when it comes to being fast for leveling up a character. But I get asked a lot, what is the most efficient way to level up actually in any game, but specifically in Diablo 4. So I'm going to create my tips on what I believe is going to be a very efficient way to level up in Diablo 4. Now, you may have a better method. This is the method that I've always used. But like I said, I don't have a timer on. And to be honest with you, uh, I find leveling up a character in any video game probably one of the most enjoyable things that I like to do. So I like to take my time. But for those of you that want to speed dash right to the finish line, uh, this video is for you. But before we get into that, a lot of you continue to watch my content, but yet do not subscribe. If you can find it in your heart to hit that subscription button, I would really appreciate the support of my content. Okay, so for you speedrunners, here's my tips on probably what I believe is the most efficient way to level up a character in Diablo 4. Here we go. All right, so I do want to put a little caveat before I go into this little list of mine, and that is obviously with any new season, we don't know the full impact and effect of what's going to be happening with the new season. We have been informed on a lot of new mechanics that are coming to season five, but again, until we actually go and play season five we don't know truly what the fastest way is to level up that'll flush out relatively quickly i would imagine in the first couple of weeks there will be a solid plan on how to get the most effective xp but this list of mine is something that i've done for every season that i've played and it's with the current information that we have in hand so without further ado here is what I suggest you do to, if you're looking to level up a character as quickly as possible. Obviously, the first thing you need to do is you need to create a new seasonal character. I highly suggest you do not start your new character in World Tier 1. Complete waste of time. Again, for those of you that don't know, the higher the World Tier, the greater the XP experience that you get. And they, they were further buffed in season four so i highly recommend you start a new character in world tier two and skip the campaign secondly you want to claim your renown for those of you that have already done and completed your renown claim it and for those of you that don't a <laughs> uh, little pro tip get your renown done you only have to do it once it's account wide and believe me save a lot of headaches for future seasons Okay, so once you claim your renown, please start the seasonal quest line. It's going to be something new. You're probably going to enjoy it. So do the seasonal quest line. As you're doing that, mix in hell tides and please always execute your time. And when you're doing hell tides, double dip with legion events and whisper whispers that are inside the hell tide so get those whisper caches completed so you can get the whisper caches and do any legion event that is in or around the hell tide and always 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 have an xp elixir active as many elixirs as you can afford and have put them on that extra xp gain all these little all these little sorry incremental xp buffs believe me add up over time now once you get to level 15 do your class quest it's very important that you do it now for necromancers it's level 25 now season 5 has the following class themes for each class Rogue has Flurry, Dark Shroud, Mobility. Sork has Chain Lightning, Mana. Necro has Bone Spirit, Bone Prism, and Bone, bone Golem. Druid has Cataclysm and Companions. And Barbarian has Weapon Swap and Knockback. 
Now, these are this is going to be free gear, guys. So if you're very frugal, you can take what the game gives you. And then if this is a style, a play style that you don't like to play and you had something else in vision, you can change later on. But it's up to you. But this is going to be the seasonal five class themes. So once you get to level 15, do your quest line for Necromancer. Sorry, it's level 25. And you keep grinding this until level 16 to 50. And this is where you need to make your first decision. What level do I go into the first capstone? The first capstone is a level 50 and basically complete it when comfortable. Now, a lot of people will do it at level 35 because that's our first benchmark. We can now start equipping sacred items, gear, weapons at level 35. So a lot of people will go into the capstone at level 35. But again, this is your comfort level, guys, whatever you feel comfortable with. If you wanna wait till level 50, specifically if you're playing hardcore, then by all means, go in when you're comfortable. But probably the first most important thing prior to going to the capstone please 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 temper and upgrade your gear gems prior going to the capstone we have get as many temper temper manuals as possible and upgrade your gear reroll the stats whatever you need for your build get it pimped up as much as possible without going overboard and spending so much gold and resources but they've amped up the gold rewards and all that kind of stuff and we can reuse the temper manuals over and over and the codex of power same thing so amp up your gear through tempering and re-rolling stats that you don't need and get in there nice and strong so you can complete it and specifically if you're playing hardcore you definitely want to spend some time on this you've now successively completed it go and switch to world tier three now at world tier three you start doing nightmare dungeons if you can if you can't continue to do hell tides and by the way little caveat here apparently there's going to be some sort of new dungeons from the seasonal content i suggest you go check it out who knows we don't know what the xp and the loot is going to be like but apparently the loot is supposed to be pretty good. Now go there, try it out, see what the XP is like. If it's really too slow for your liking and you're not getting great drops, then revert back to the normal grind of Helltides and Nightmare Dungeons. Again, as soon as you can start doing Nightmare Dungeons, do them. It's the best XP, especially with events. Do not, do not skip events in nightmare dungeons okay so you're now in world tier three and this is where you make your second decision once you hit level 45 to 60 remember the second capstone is a level 70 this is when you need to decide when to go into the second capstone now again there is the second benchmark on what gear level we could wear and the next one sacred was 35 while ancestral is 55 so again a lot of people use that benchmark to go into the second capstone so if you want to go in at level 55 you're feeling comfortable you got to follow the same process you did for the first capstone and that is temper upgrade your gear including gems prior to going to the capstone now the second thing about the second capstone is make sure your fire res is capped and 75% is the cap. At least that's what it was in season four. So make sure you do this. Go into the second capstone when you are comfortable. Keeping in mind, you can now equip ancestral items at level 55. So that might guide you in when you want to go in. And pretty simple. Once you complete the second capstone, this is where you go to the final world tier, and that is world tier four. So you switch to world tier four, and there you go. You basically level to 100, doing nightmare dungeons, 
bosses, world bosses. Now, I strongly suggest you don't do world tier bosses. Well, do them when you're comfortable, guys. But remember, world bosses now have resilience. They've been buffed, so they're going to be a little tankier. We'll see how much tankier they're going to be. But I suggest you don't even mess around because it's probably going to take longer. And that time that you're wasting with the group trying to kill this boss could be better spent getting more XP. So I wouldn't do it until you're world tier four. But again, it's your game. You play it how you want. And again, with that, with that process in mind, this is a suggestion, but do whatever is the most fun for you. In other words, if there's there's content in the seasonal content that you enjoy and are having really fun, but is probably not maximizing XP, then who cares? If it takes you an extra day, an extra week to get the max level, who really cares? Do what's fun at the end of the day. That's why we play video games. So anyway, guys, you just level to 100. Nightmare Dungeons, Nightmare Dungeons, Nightmare Dungeons. And of course, you're going to be doing this with the premise of you want to grind the pit and you want to grind the new mechanic, Infernal Hordes. Um, now, remember, I forgot to mention that once you clear uh, a Nightmare Dungeon level 45, you can start grinding the pit for master working and uber boss mats, okay? So once you clear a level 45 nightmare dungeon, you can start going to the pit and grinding that for master working and uber boss, uber boss mats. The master working mats are gonna be very important. I don't need to tell you guys, if you've played this game season four, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So don't forget to sprinkle in going to the pit and getting the master working mats that you need. And for you guys that like to grind the Uber bosses, obviously that's where you also get the mats for them. So that's basically it guys. All right, everybody, that was, you know, it's a pretty simple formula. Uh, this is a formula that I followed. It's probably been now my third season that I followed the strategy. It's pretty simple. It's pretty straightforward. As long as you know the benchmarks, it's per, it'll guide you properly. And guys, at the end of the day, this is just that, a guide. Uh, and personally, I think you should be playing content that you enjoy. And I'm not a fan of people that speed run the game. I think it dilutes. I think it dilutes the fun factor, to be quite honest with you. Uh, personally, I think you should just enjoy every minute and play what you want to play and enjoy the season. You only get the first character through the first time through the seasonal content only once. So enjoy it. But anyway, that'll do it for me. Let me know if you guys have a better strategy. Let me know if you guys seen any holes in my strategy. Again, I am not the fastest leveler. I enjoy leveling characters, so I take my time. But if you have a better method, a better strategy, let me know. And let me know what you are going to be playing in Season 5. I would love to hear it. Uh, anyway, come and watch my live streams. I live stream every evening on Twitch. The channel name is Sammy Caps. We'd love to have you. We have a cool, chill community. Come over and say hello. And as always, thank you for watching. We'll see you in Sanctuary. Take care. The opinions expressed in this video are mine and solely mine. Healthy debate is always encouraged. Hate is never welcomed. So get over it.